it kind of came from my mom's desire to know what was going on. I think she had heard of the Boston University study that was going on, and I think at that point um, she was passionate about figuring out exactly what was happening to Kevin, and I think that that motivated her to uh, donate his brain, and you know she ran it by the rest of the family, and we were all on board with it, and I guess just that motivation to get a better understanding of what exactly was happening to her son is what prompted her to do it. My mom wanted to donate his brain a lot of because of the frustration she had with how Kevin's situation was handled in so many different regards that I think she was passionate about not only getting closure for herself but also um, helping other people who might then be experiencing what we had to go through and kind of having some evidence or something tangible to lean on when they're looking for how to handle their own situation. Kevin's big motive was to help people and that's a big, that's a big uh, value in our family. So that's definitely where part of this motivation came from to donate his brain is to help others. And, you know, we realized that while, you know, our exact situation is has come and gone, we still are going to deal with the, the grieving and the aftermath after, but we're not on the front lines anymore, that we can help other people who maybe are or are experiencing confusion or frustration with their own situations. This video was produced by BrainLine, thanks to generous support from the Infinite Hero Foundation.